YouTube, it's Judith Addict here, and I'm going to be doing a tutorial showing you how to whiten teeth using a photo editing software called GIMP. Okay, so go ahead and open up GIMP. Don't worry if you don't have GIMP. I'll post the link to my other tutorial to so to so to show you how to download GIMP. Okay, anyway, so you go to File, go to Open. Now open up your picture that you want to use for the teeth whitening. Okay, I have a big picture of teeth. Okay, now go to go to your layers panel. Now go select, do, make a new layer. Now delete and name it saturation. Okay, make sure it's set on transparency, otherwise it won't work. Press OK. Okay, now click on this. Now go to the mode and change from normal to saturation. Okay, now make sure your uh, go to your toolbox. Make sh click on paintbrush. Now go to your brush and click on your teeth whining. Now I've made the these are pre-made, so I will be releasing another v tutorial on how to make these, and so I'll post that in the link too. Okay, so description. Sorry. Okay, now just go to your teeth, make sure it's on there, and just start to paint over your thing. In the brush tutorial, it'll show you how to make smaller and little and bigger brushes. Bigger brushes are for bigger teeth, and the little brushes are for these teeth down here. Teeth, like little teeth that you can't get to properly. Okay, so I'm just going to pause the video and then I'll come back when it's all done. Okay, so I'm done. Now, there'll be extra, extra white. Now, this white doesn't really look like really, like really realistic. Um, that's because the opacity is set on 100, which is normal. Okay, so all you have to do is just change this down. Now, you can adjust this to any number you want. Okay, ranging from really light to the normal picture you had before. But I like to put it around 80. No, actually no, 75. That that looks pretty good. Actually 70. Now that looks pretty real like real like stick and it still looks like it's white. Okay, that's the end of our tutorial. All you have to do is go file and then save it and save it to your file that you want it to be in. Okay, it's, this has been another tutorial by it's been another tutorial by Judy Addict. We hope you enjoyed it and I will post all of those links in the description. I have other videos also. Make sure you sub make sure you rate, watch the other videos and maybe even subscribe. Thanks. See you YouTube.